Okay, I've got a little tutorial here um, using modifiers, and I'm going to bend a, a, a tube with a modifier. And there's another way to do it. You can use um, a script, which I'll show you in a moment. But this is this is using the modifier. Okay, you can twist, taper, uh, and, and bend. Okay, so I need to convert this to a mesh. I'll select the modifying tool and we'll there and we're going to put a bend on this one okay and move it down into the center now I need to scale it down I'll use the uniform scale scaler to start with and now I'll use the non uniform bring it down a little bit more there we go okay so now we've scaled that more or less to where we want it just make sure it fully encloses it yep okay now I can't actually get to the the tube because I need to have the tube selected as well you can't you can't select the tube so you need to go up to here find mesh one okay then with the right mouse button click the modifier as well and then we go build modifiers bind that modifier to the tube and then just double click anywhere and we bring up the parameters to bend it so I'll put 140 on that not 1400 there we go and that's bent the bent the tube okay so now we need to go up to build and affect the modifier and there's your tube all bent so I'll just rename that to bent tube okay you can also taper and twist and do lots of things with a modifying tool uh, build convert to mesh Get the modifier again, drag it out. Uh, let's put a twist on it, okay? Drag that down a little bit. Bring that down, bring it down, bring it down. In the middle. Go to left. Yeah, it's fully enclosed. Go to front. Select mesh one again. Okay, then I need to select the other one, build modifiers, by modifier, double click that, put a 720 twist on it, not 7200. Yeah. There we go, and finally build modifiers, effect modifier, and that's twisted it. So you get a nice twist there. Right, there's another way to do tubes and bend your tubes and that's to use uh, a script file okay so what I've got here is a script file called tube path okay so what I'll do is I'm going to get this path just drag anything round okay there we are and you need to rename this to not path but tube path there we go I'll go up to the tube path again click that on and just do that once there we are that looks a bit weird at the moment so what I'll do I'm going to do uh, 12 sides diameter to 1 and 100 divisions in for a laugh and there we go looks like a lump of rope and I'll build convert that to a mesh because it's parametric if I get rid of that this while it's still a parametric shape there the whole lot goes there we go I hope this tutorial has been used to you. I'm signing off now. So.